Landing pages are effective tools in lead collection. Or maybe you don't have a website, but you still want somewhere where clients can come and put their information and you collect it and you can call them, they can make bookings. You can make use of these landing pages within Keep. So landing pages are located here under marketing and landing pages. In this video, we're just going to explore a few functions uh, that might be useful to you in landing pages. So the good thing about Keep is that they created uh, pre-made pages that you can make use of. Instead of creating from scratch, you can just get those pre-made ones and then you manipulate them so that they work according to how you want. And also another feature is that you can actually make a funnel out of those landing pages. So let's just create a landing page, um, a basic one. We just look for maybe a health care service provider. We just name this AMD doctors and continue. So just like that, you have a landing page that's already made. So all you need to do is to go to these headings and change the information. So you can change information, for example, here directly typing um, AMD dental care services and it actually comes out as you want. So you can change any of these elements, change the pictures, change the paragraphs, even the icons that are there, uh, the colors that are behind here. So it's built in blocks. Uh, if you want to remove the entire block, you can actually delete it just by coming here and delete and it will be gone. Uh, also, you have an option of adding more information. Uh, for example, you might want to add um, more columns, an HTML element, maybe the, the something you want to embed. Uh, you can also add your social contacts there. You can add public forms which direct back to uh, Keep. And also another interesting feature that they put is you're able to embed uh, appointment pages like appointment landing pages for example uh, you can just drag this anywhere where it makes sense uh, let's say for example here so a person can make an appointment with the dentist directly from that landing page uh, and that information is sent to keep crm and also the appointment uh, system so right now i had already set up in a consultation so this 15 minute initial consultation i simply click and that is the one that appears embedded on that landing page. There it is. A person can make a booking and finish with the settings that have been put within the appointment system. So all you have to do is to say next and publish. Uh, before we do that, I would just like to show you and explore. Um, checkout pages are possible as well. If you have a landing page where you would want to sell a product there and then, you can also embed the checkout page uh, as we have done with the appointment uh, widget here. There are many blocks you can use also to quickly build uh, your site. There are generic blocks, holiday blocks that are there, special event blocks and signature blocks. You can simply drag them and put them wherever you want them to appear. Uh, for example, just as an example, I'll just uh, drag this one and put it there. And there you go. It's already there and you can now manipulate this information as you want it but i don't want this appearing there so i simply delete it and it's gone and also you can add images uh, from unsplash and many other uh, places where they are free you can simply click it and or drag it and it appears where you want it to appear as well you can upload pictures and you can also create extra pages. For example, here we do have a thank you page. Why? If we scroll down, when someone enters an email here and says, uh, get this free guide, what happens is that it's sent and then it goes to the thank you page. So after they've done this, what happens is this page will come out. There we go. So a link has been sent to your email. So these landing pages respond to what's these uh, this thank you page is responding to what's in the landing page there. 
So you have an option of creating as many pages as you like. So generally, it's more like a website builder. It has most of the functions of the website builder. As we can see here, putting dividers, images, menus, text, video. You can even put a countdown timer. So after doing this, all you need to do is to click next, um, then publish landing page. So this landing page can be sent to the people that you want to view it and make use of it, or you can embed it within your website and people can visit it and then leave their details on that landing page, which makes it easy for you to collect that data within your CRM. And also even automation can result from these landing pages. Remember, we even put appointment section there where people could actually see uh, a, a, a booking portal that can, they can use uh, and then make an appointment with you. So let's just see how the page comes out. All we have to do is to copy the link and open it in a new tab. And let's see how that comes out. It actually comes out quite nice. Remember, we changed that AMD so you can change this information. And also remember, a person can actually book from here. Uh, look at that. They can make a booking and finish. Uh, and also, they can uh, make use of these other smaller blocks. For example, where a, an email is sent to the CRM and then it triggers automation to send an email back to the person who entered their email here. So all that automation uh, is also available on these landing pages. So it's an issue of just exploring, going through it and changing all the information so that it fits your needs. So generally, this is what you can expect in keep landing pages. They are quite useful.